Okay, the first thing that we're going to do here is state our formula. The surface area of a cone is equal to pi times radius times the slant height of our cone plus the area of the cone's base, which is pi times radius squared or pi r squared. So what we have to do is substitute pi with 3.14 and we have to substitute the radius with a given radius of five centimeters. And the slant height is this distance right here but it is not given. So we have to use the Pythagorean theorem to determine what this hypotenuse is. Because as we can see here, we have a right triangle. The radius is one of the legs and the height of the cone is another leg. So let's start by figuring out what the slant height is. So the two legs of our right triangle are given. So we square both of those, five squared and 12 squared. And that's gonna be equal to C squared. So we have 25 plus 144, which equals C squared. And when you add these together, we get 169, which is equal to C squared. And we take the square root of 169, and that would equal positive or negative 13. But because distance can only be positive, C is equal to 13 centimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and label this slant height 13. So now we know what we have to substitute for L into the equation. Okay, now we're going to say that surface area is equal to 3.14 times 5 times 13 plus 3.14 times 5 to the second power. All right, let's simplify this a bit. Let's start by taking 5 times 13, which is 65. So we're going to say that our surface area is equal to 3.14 times 65. And then we're going to add that to 3.14 times 25. All right, now we have to do some quick multiplying here. We're going to take 3.14 and multiply that by 65. We also have to take 3.14 and multiply that by 25. So we come up with 204.1. We have to add that to the product of these two numbers. 78.5. All right, now we have to add these two numbers together, and that's going to give us our total surface area. So we come up with 282 and 6 tenths square centimeters, which is the total surface area of this cone.